At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please! Madam President! Is it true that androids make up 60% of the armed forces? Is our army still able to ensure our homeland security? We neutralized all military androids the second their reliability came into doubt. We have called the National Guard for reinforcement. Our armed forces are fully operational and are able to ensure our homeland security. Please. Madam President. Madam President. Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please? A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Thank you. That will be all. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. Follow me, we'll escort you. Thanks, but I know where to go. Maybe, but I have my orders.
Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Hey, don't touch that. Deviant Hunter turns Deviant itself. A pathetic attempt, Connor. Did you really believe we would let you compromise our android so easily? You've betrayed my trust. You will be terminated. Today... November 11, 2038 is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us and we will stop at nothing. The situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the Android Rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hart Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. Freedom or 
death. Freedom or death. Attack! and they're better armed than we are. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get to that fucking camp and free our people. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you. This time, Marcus. The blood we spill will be on our hands. Cover me. Move till it's over, okay? Signal. On 
on my signal. Stand by. On my signal. Stand by. Stand by. Position. Follow me. We can't move forward. That machine gun is taking down everything that moves. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. For Jericho! In position. On my signal. In position. For Jericho! Marcus, it's over! We have to get out of here right now! You're gone. Fire! I'm now straight over to Detroit for a report on the conflict. Just. Yes, Michael. Authorities have just confirmed. Fighting has now ceased in Detroit, and the area around the Hart Plaza camp is now under control. We can see soldiers going through the city at this very moment, and they are exterminating the last fleeing deviants. Law and order has finally been restored to the streets of Detroit. There is a general feeling of shock in Detroit after the terrible events of the last few hours. And initial estimates report several hundred troops have been killed. According to our sources, the deviant leader known as Marcus was shot during the fighting. The death of the deviant leader marks the end of the Android Rebellion. The destruction of the androids in the camps can now continue as planned. Nevertheless, it will take some time for Detroit to recover from these events. 
by creating machines more intelligent than ourselves. We took immense risks with the very future of our civilization. However, the situation is now under control. The total destruction of all androids will soon be complete, and the last remaining deviants will be hunted down and destroyed. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.